So now in this video, our goal is to get about 10 milliamps of current through uh, an LED when we are using a 5 volt power supply. So of course all these numbers are approximate. And uh, so our goal is about 10 milliamps of current. We have a red LED, it's going to drop about 2 volts out of that 5. Blue LED is going to drop about 3 volts out of that 5. So when it comes to the red LED, we're going to have 3 volts across the current limiting resistor. Because uh, that's what we're calculating for, for if you're using a resistor. Uh, so we divide that by the current we want, which we put into amps right there. So 3 volts divided by 0 0.01 amps is uh, 300 ohms. I'm actually going to use a 330 ohm resistor, so we'll probably have a little less than 10 milliamps of current as uh, we'll measure. Now, when it comes to the blue LED, so it drops more voltage, drops about 3 volts, even though it will look uh, brighter uh, for whatever reason. But in any case, that gives us 2 volts, so 5 subtract 3 is 2 volts. That's going to be our supply voltage. The current we want, uh, 0 0.01 amps, 2 divided by 0 0.01 amps. We got the 200 ohms right there, and again... I don't have a 200 ohm resistor. I'm going to use 220, so I'll probably be a little bit shy of uh, 10 milliamps, but uh, that's okay. So now we t want to measure the uh, power dissipation of the resistor, what it's going to have to dissipate. They're rated for 0.25 watts for the maximum, but you should keep it to 0.125. So you can see that's well below 0.125. Take the voltage times the current and you get the uh, wattage. So that's the voltage across the resistor and the current flowing through it. For the uh, blue LED, again, it's dropping more voltage. So we got even less voltage across the resistor there. Uh, 2 volts times 0 0.01 amps is 0 0.02 watts. So again, way below the 0.125 watts we want to stay below. And now we have my uh, multimeter here. So we're going to set it to measure voltage. We don't need to move the red probe for anything with this meter unless we measured high current, which we're not going to do. And the uh, power supply is actually off, but uh, we can pretend like we don't know that, see if it's on, see if we're getting 5. And this power supply actually gives you a slight negative voltage when it is off for whatever reason. Something to be aware of if you get uh, this power supply. So in any case, we should see five volts there. Uh, a little bit shy, there's a little bit of resistance in the wires and stuff, and where we make all our connections, uh, but we got uh, five volts. Now, we are going to measure the resistance of the resistors, and see how close they are. So you can see we have an opening here. There's uh, no current that can flow through the resistor. We gotta make sure there's no voltage across it that might uh, damage the meter. But uh, the LED comes to a dead end. So there you can see a little shy of the 330 that it uh, says it is. And uh, this should be about 220. So it looks like it's a little shy. Again, the resistors have tolerance and uh, they can be 1% higher or lower according to the rated value. We'll go to uh, milliamps. These are cheap resistors though, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was a little more off than that, but uh, usually it's close to about 1%. So we got uh, milliamps right there. We want to make sure it's set to be able to measure more current than you're going to measure. And uh, the milliamp setting, uh, I think we can measure up to uh, 600 milliamps. But uh, in any case, there you can see, looks like we're in the uh, little less than 9 milliamps right there. And the blue LED. We're going to measure that, and uh, it is quite a bit brighter. Again, a little less than 9 milliamps, it looks like. But uh, if you remember, it's about 10% higher resistance than what we uh, calculated. And we have a little less uh, voltage coming from the supply rails. Also, they uh, might be dropping a little more than 2 volts, the LEDs. So that's all stuff we could uh, check. But for now, we are done. We got that uh, calculated value of uh, 10 milliamps, but again, they have a little more resistance. That's something to keep in mind. Um, so this was close enough, and uh, main point though was doing that calculation. Uh, get a little more experience. The 10 milliamps isn't a bad amount of current. You saw the LEDs were fairly bright. Um, blue LED is really bright at 10 milliamps. You may need more current, might want to aim for 15 milliamps of current for the red LED. They're not quite as bright. But uh, any case, this video has gone on long enough. Hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out one of the other videos posted on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.